Now you're starting your sixth year in the legislature. Is it as acrimonious here as people might think? It really is not. Now remember, a lot of these people just came off campaigns, and so they have to show a difference between their opponent and themselves, so they're gonna argue for differences between them to set themselves apart from their opponent. But once they get here, uh, we've got two major parties. We find that we need to work together. For the most part, people come here trying to resolve problems. And so there's definitely discussion. I'm not saying we agree on every issue, but there's definitely, I would say, an openness about discussing the issues. Tell us about the makeup of the legislature and the dynamics involved. Very interesting because this year in the House, uh, the Republicans gained four votes. So now it stands 51 Democrats and 47 Republicans. So it's much closer than it has been in the last five years when I've been here. On the Senate side, it's uh, Republicans are in control by a 25, or by one vote, actually. But they have a Democrat, Senator Sheldon, that usually votes with the Republicans. So it's actually two, two apart. So we have a Republican-controlled Senate, a Democratic-controlled House. And so obviously, in order to get things done, the two parties are, or the two houses are going to have to get together to resolve these issues that we're faced with. With the makeup of the legislature so close, what kind of a message do you think that that gives to the legislature from the voters of the state of Washington? I not only think they voted it that way to make it close, but obviously they're pushing us to get the job done. Otherwise, to get together, to resolve our differences, to compromise if that's what we need to do, to come up with good solutions that will help our state. That's the message I've heard loud and clear. There are a number of people who say the legislature simply won't be able to finish within the 105 days because of partisanship. What's your response? I think we've got a good chance of finishing on time. And there's a couple reasons for that. Number one is that we have discussed some of the big issues such as the budget uh, prior to even coming to session this time. And both the Senate and the House have had discussions during the, the interim. And secondly, I think there's a, an idea about where we are ahead of time. Otherwise, we have some pretty good numbers uh, of where we are in regards to the deficit. The other part is good news in that our economic forecast has shown a positive trend over the last year. In fact, it's about $3 billion of positive return during this biennium. Now, unfortunately, a lot of that is already chewed up by expenditures that are going out, but it sure is heck a lot better than us being in a deficit and getting into worse shape. So we've got some good reasons to get together and resolve these issues, and uh, I think we've got a good chance of finishing in the 105-day period.